Hiya peeps, welcome back to Let's Play Undertale. Guess what I did? I went and sold, well bought and sold, a bunch of things. So we have plenty of money to buy a mysterious key. And um, an empty gun. I mean, look at that. 4,505 G, I think we have enough. Uh, check it out. Uh, bye. We want the empty gun, and we want the mystery key. Probably to someone's house, lol. It, it totally is to someone's house. So, wait until you guys see. First of all, we got to equip the empty gun. Info, empty gun, weapon attack 12, antique revolver, has no ammo. Must be used precisely or damage will be low. Well, it's a really good thing that we're not attacking anyone. Right? Right. Um, I was going to equip it. That's what I was going to do. Okay, equip to the gun. Let's move it. So you guys didn't get to see it because I used it while grinding up stuff. But... Um, I don't know if you guys remember the river at all. Um... You can see it in Snowden, you can see it in Waterfall, and I stopped by it here in Hotland. We're gonna go down to it, because now there's a fairy man or a woman. They say it doesn't matter. So, uh, try the lag here for a ride. Yes, we're gonna ride in the boat. Where will we go today? We're going to Waterfall. The, the key that we got goes to a house in Waterfall. And there's another stop that we need to make. While there, in Waterfall. You'll see. I think you guys should be excited. Ah. Uh, but that's it? <laughs> okay. That was very important. That's a good message. I'm glad that you decided to tell me this. Come again sometime. tra -da -da. Later, river person. Okay. So here we are. In case you guys do not remember, this is Blukey's house. Naps to Bluke. That is their house. And next door was a locked house. Which is what this mystery key is to. Use the mystery key. The red house's door was unlocked. The key disappeared. Very convenient, huh? Well, this is very pink. Uh, we'll start from the left. Dear Diary, Shiren's sister fell down recently. It's sad. Without her sister to speak for her, she's become more reclusive than ever. So I reached out to her and told her that she, Blukey, and I should all perform together sometime. She seemed to like that idea. Okay, so... I don't know. I know it's probably hard to remember if you haven't been, like, binge-watching or binge-playing this, but... Napsabluk said that his cousins both left to be corporeal. Is that am I saying that right? Anyway, I'm not smart. So this is Bluki's cousin's house. Dear her diary, I like to buy a new diary for every new entry I make. Okay. I love to collect diaries. Kind of a useless collection, but alright. Dearest diary, our cousin left the farm to become a training dummy. That leaves just Blukey and I. Blukey asked me if I was going to try and become corporeal, too. They sounded so resigned. Come on, Blukey. You know I'd never leave you behind. And besides, I never find the kind of body I'm looking for anyway. My darling diary, I met someone interesting today. Last week I posted my advert... I've only had one cup of coffee today. Last week, I posted the advertisement for my human fan club. Today was our first meeting. Only one other person came. Honestly, she's a dork, and she's obsessed with these awful cartoons. But she's kind of funny, too. I want to see her again. Are you guys, like, catching the clues? Diary, my dear... My diary collection is going fabulously. I have like five now. You have exactly five. Dear diary, she surprised me with something today. Sketches of a body that she wants to create for me. A form beyond my wildest fantasies. 
In a form like that, I could finally feel like myself. After all, there's no way I can be a star the way I am now. Sorry, Baluki. My dreams can't wait for anyone. So, in case, you know, it's not super obvious, this is Metaton's house. You know, the toaster. The old school Game Boy. Hey, Napsabluk. I broke into your cousin's house. I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna keep working on that mix CD. You don't mind at all. Perfect. Keep being awesome, Blukey. Well, there's one more stop for us to make here. I mean, that's just like a nifty little extra thing. But if we go up here, there's something else that we should be doing. Wow. It sounds like someone's really bashing on those keys. Hey, Papyrus, how- what are you doing here? Oh, the human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends! <sighs> you know, I would have remembered this better if you hadn't have called me in the middle of Undyne trying to murder me. Just saying. Will you hang out? Yeah, man. We'll hang out. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. Okay, Papyrus. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Hi, I don't think we've... <laughs> Why don't you two come in? Um, Papyrus, I really don't feel like dying today either, but we'll try. Here, Undyne, my friend brought a gift for you on their own. Ah, uh, thanks. I'll uh, put it with the others. <laughs> so, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. <laughs> Is, have any of you watched Scott Pilgrim? Because that's what it reminds me of. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? You look very hopeful, but no, that's not why I'm here. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Um, yes or never with you. Yeah, Undyne, I'm really hoping we can move past the fact that you tried to spear me 800,000 times. Really? How delightful! I accept! Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you, but I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. I like how he kind of like just ollies out of there. <laughs> challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? Foo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I like her little hands up next to her face like, We're going to be besties. Face squish. Face squish. I'll make you like me so much you won't be able to think of anyone else. Boo hoo hoo. It's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? Can I look at things first? One time Alphys's uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I have a feeling I know who that is, and also I definitely, um, admire their lifestyle. I mean, I wish I could be the same. I don't really like that guy, but I admire his lifestyle. See? 
Girl, we're gonna be best friends. We're gonna be best friends. It's so nice to have you over. Why not take a seat at the table? I gotta look at your stuff. In the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. Look inside the bone drawer? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. This oven is some top of the line MTT thing. But, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home cooked with fire magic. It's a silverware drawer. It has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks, everything you need for a good quality dinner. That's a silverware drawer. My bad. I hate cold food. So Alf has fixed up my fridge so he heats up food instead. Hot fridge. The world's greatest invention. Probably like just because it's for, for you. Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. Right? Um... You know, it, it's not like you're gonna speak to any other human, so yeah, absolutely, that's what humans did. <laughs> I knew it! When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alphys built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? She is very smart. Um... You wanna see my room? Too bad! No nerds allowed! Well, maybe some nerds. I'm not gonna serenade you. Um, by some nerds, do you mean Alphys? Hmm? I can't believe he leapt through the window like that. Normally he nails the landing. Fine, let's sit down. Sit down and progress? Yes! Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. All set. What would you like? Um, here, let me get down. Or not. Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Undyne. Uh, our options? Tall glass of water. Sugar goes in tea. Soda. That is not what soda usually looks like. Hot chocolate, green cylinder, tea box. Blatantly correct choice. Okay, let's just go through them then. Undyne. Are you hitting on me? I hit on everyone. Just what I do. The sugar's for the tea. I'm not gonna give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like? The ice cream woman? Do human ice cream women terrorize humanity with energy spears? Are their ice cream songs a prelude to destruction? Is that it? Yes? What? Really? That rules! <laughs> okay. Soda? Oh, soda? Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. <laughs> That's fine, I think soda's gross too. It rots your teeth, it rots your minds. It rots your fighting spirit! Huh? Why do I have it? Oh, look at that little face! Look, look at that little face! Alphys had soda in her fridge. Just just to let you guys know. Hot chocolate? Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait. I just remembered. That container's empty. I stopped getting it because I was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. You have Asgore over for hot chocolate? That's cool. Okay. Um. Fridge. The fridge? You want to have the entire fridge? No! How about the giant sword? Acquired taste. Believe me, I would gladly give you your fill of swords if you weren't my beloved house guest. Is there anything else to, to pick? Okay, that's it. We're, we'll go with the tea. Tea, huh? Coming right up. I wonder what kind of tea she has. It's like four boxes of tea. Hey, do you have Prince of Wales? That's my favorite. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Wow, it's some uh, nice wallpaper you have. I'm trying to make small conversation. Okay, it's all done. He 
here we are. How is that staying there? Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot. Just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Thanks, Undyne. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Did you give me a choice? Golden flower tea. That's Ascor's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies! I can't believe this. Can I leave? You just called me a weenie. Sort of. I'm trying to leave. Fine. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. What? I find that hard to believe. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and then from then on... He trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well... I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. Do you guys have, like, battles? Are there wars to fight down here? He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry. I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Um, Undyne? Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson... He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him! That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. I mean, I don't mind. <laughs> afraid? We're gonna be best friends. I'm a little bit afraid. Now I'm super afraid. Let's start with the sauce. Do you have like a catnip up in your ceiling? Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. How will you pound? Strong, wimpy. Mm. We'll go strong. You punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah! Yeah! Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Why are you putting a banana in your spaghetti sauce? Now it's my turn! Yeah! Dang, girl. Calm down. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. Aw, oh, look at the splatter all over her face. <laughs> but for now... We add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brands. They're the cheapest. See? Undyne is definitely me when it comes to cooking. And my sister is the type of person that makes her own noodles and tortillas and bread. She's kind of weird, to be fair. Yeah! Um, just put them in the pot. How will you put them in? Fiercely or careful? You know what? She wants us to be all, like, fierce and hardcore. We're gonna do it fiercely. You throw everything in the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clanks against the empty bottom. 
Yeah, I'm into it. All right, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Okay. I'm stirring. I'm stirring harder. Harder! Oh, let me do it. Let me fix my microphone. Um, it's not stirring. <laughs> That's the stuff. All right, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into a burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Okay, I'm holding right. Turn it up the heat. Turn it hotter. I, I think that's good. Undyne? I think that'll cook it. Hotter, darn it. Um. Oh, let me do it. I don't... Oh my god. <laughs> um. Undyne? Ah. Man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. Hey, you wanna grab your sword? What's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you got. Yeah! Undyne is letting you make the first attack. Well, I'm still not gonna hit you. Check. Fake. Check. Attack 41, defense 21. This time, don't hold anything back. Show me what you got. Okay, fine. I will make the first attack. Fake attack! Pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. One. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force. You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first I hated your stupid saccharine shtick, but... The way you hit me right now, it... Reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? Fuh. <laughs> Oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now, let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Can we grab your sword? Did you grab your sword? Oh, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, um, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk, too. Woo! I was doing so good for a minute there. Well, see you later, punk. Well, uh, I, I guess we're friends with Undyne now. And sounds like only Fire lives here now. Okay, well, next time on Let's Play Undertale, we'll actually progress. Like, go forward with the story, like we're supposed to. Thanks for watching. A lot. I mean it. Bye.